So today I just want to quickly show you how to change the color of a border on a form field based on an expression. Uh, you'll see a lot of default forms in Sherwell where you'll see a red outline for required fields, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're going to go ahead and uh, start by selecting our call source field, which currently is not set to be different uh, border colors based on an expression, so I can show you this from the beginning. Uh, first thing you do is you select the form field on the form, and you come up here to the border color selection icon, and we're going to use expression. Uh, now I could create an unnamed expression if I wanted to, but I want to create a named expression and I want to show you the power of using the none association in named expressions. So you see the association by default will always come up with the object that you're in, but what I want to do is I want to actually create this expression in the none association, which means it's not associated with any business object and is therefore available to any business object. The big caveat here, of course, is that you cannot use any named fields in your expression. I could not, for instance, in my expression say if requester name is this because I don't have an association to the field, to the table that contains the field requester name. But let me show you how to do this for something like, uh, something like a field border on a required field. So let's create a new expression. We're going to call it required field border. Uh, it's going to be a case expression. So, because we're going to have a couple of different cases that we're going to work with. Uh, the first one is whether or not the field has anything in it. If the field is empty, we want to make the border color red. Uh, the way we do that with no, with no field association is by simply using a system function called associated field value. And that means that the actual field in the table that's associated with the field in the form uh, the value of that specific field. So this becomes a very generic, very useful uh, expression for any field on the form and I can just reuse exp the expression over and over and over again. In this case when it is empty we want to make the color we're just going to pick our, take our color picker here um, ironically Sherwell has a required field border color in their theme so we'll just make that the required field border color. Uh, so again what this says is if the associated field value is empty make the field border red. Uh, and then we have to give it a default color as well. Uh, the default color we want to use here is going to be control border color. Uh, that's the basically the default color of all borders on all fields when you add them to a form. Uh, I've created this named expression. I've put it in the none association. So now I just click OK. And you can see it's actually already switched to red because in the designer, in the form designer, there's no value in that field. So it's going to assume that it needs to be red. Uh, that is the extent of what we need to do here. Uh, when, that, when that field gets filled out, it will swap the color out to be the same as all the other fields that are not required um, or have been filled out. And now you can use that expression in any object you want as long as the associated field value is uh, what, you're using for, uh, what you're using for comparison. 